Education Cabinet Secretary George Magoa, Government Spokesman Cyrus Ogina and Basic Education PS Dr. Bilio Kipsang have on Tuesday February 4 visited Kakamiga Primary School where 14 pupils died following a stampede on Monday February 3. The stampede happened around 5 p.m. as the pupils were going home. In the incident, 14 pupils lost their lives. As at midnight Monday, two pupils were at the Kakamiga Referral Hospital's Intensive Care Unit, IKU, and 39 others nursing injuries. Following the stampede, parents and relatives converged at the school seeking to know the whereabouts of their children, only for some to find out that some were among the dead. According to one of the pupils, the stampede happened after one of them tried to block a group that was going down the stairs on the third floor. One pupil is said to have forcefully pushed the group down the stairs, unfortunately causing stampede. I was going downstairs after classes when I heard some boys behind me playfully push each other. It is something they often do. In no time, however, a commotion ensued and some of those who were on the staircase fell off others. I lost my footing when pushed and other students fell on top of me. I remained pinned down until help came from Boda Boda operators nearby. I was hurt on the leg but was lucky to have been taken to a nearby clinic where I was treated and discharged. There was no teacher beating students as had been alleged, explained Alfavil Kangor, a grade 5 pupil who survived the stampede. By midnight, Kakamiga Governor Wycliffe Operinia, Senator Cleophas Malala, Larambi MP Titus Kahamala, former ACK Masano North Bishop Simon Oketch, Regional Commissioner Ran Getish, Regional Police Commander Piris Kimani, County Police Commander Bernard Muley and Regional Education Officer Stephen Barongo had all visited the victims in hospital.